There are few rules to follow if you ever find yourself in front of a cobra or need to catch one. These techniques may in some cases apply to other types of snakes, but not necessarily. So assume that the following steps are for a speckled cobra. First, be gentle, don't be afraid. The snake is more afraid of you, so don't make any quick movements. Always maintain eye contact with the snake. One second of distraction can be fatal. Never assume anything. Even the best snake catchers have been bitten for not following this rule. Always grab the snake by its tail while keeping the rest of your body as far away as possible. Make sure you use a firm but gentle grasp. When the snake approaches you, lift the tail. Remember that a cobra like this one can be around 2 meters long. When handling a snake, it will squirm, which is natural. Hold the snake by the tip of its tail. The snake doesn't sense anything above the genitals. If you touch its body, it immediately assumes you're dangerous. Grab a stick or any other long slender object. Keep in mind that the object should be smooth. Distract the snake with the stick. Then firmly grasp its tail and lift it upward, leaving the front part of its body on the ground. Be sure to keep your legs and body as far away as possible. Pin the snake down by placing the stick directly behind its head and applying pressure. The amount of pressure you need to apply depends on the snake's size. Use only enough force to keep it from slithering away. Drop the tail and grab the pin snake by the neck as close to the head as possible. Use a firm grip but do not choke the snake. Hold the head from the side so you don't squeeze the trachea. You should be able to hear the snake's breathing. A cobra's fangs are quite small. Cobra bites are seldom painful but they are still very dangerous. Their fangs contain poisonous venom and when bitten, a person could die from respiratory failure or cardiac arrest. It's important to be aware of this as well as the nearest location for treatment. Also, take care when handling baby cobras. Their fangs are also venomous. To release the snake into the box, hold it gently by its tail. Hold the head away from you before letting it go. Turn the bottle towards its head. When snakes see a hole, they tend to go inside. They are always searching for cold places since they are cold-blooded animals. Holes in small spaces are ideal for them since they are colder and darker, like a burrow under a rock or a boot. Push its body gently with the lid. Close it tightly. You can also put the snake in a bag, but be sure that the bag is thick enough. 